Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday here on All Things Futhark. I'm your host Eric. This week we're talking about uh, divination in practice. So what I mean by divination in practice is we're going to explain a couple of things as each host understands or receives information during a rune reading or divination purposes of that sort. Um, and you know how it comes to them and how it how, how they decipher that information so that they can sort of give it to the person that I'm reading for um, so when it comes to me I believe this is an extraordinarily personal experience there are only so many senses that we have but this is one of those things that doesn't exactly fit under one of those senses neatly so to cut to the chase when I'm doing a rune reading, I, I get the information from the runes through several different means. I mean, visually I see the runes and, and I know what they mean, but turning that information into understandable information is the part that a lot of people get confused on, so we're gonna, that's what we're here to explain. Um, when, I do, when I do a rune reading, uh, the first thing I do is I pull out the runes and I lay them out, and then I start to look at the runes individually in the positions I set them out, similar to a tarot reading, uh, with positions of past, present, future, root, challenge, and outcome. Uh, the reason I do that is because then I can take the uh, archetypal idea that the rune is, and then concentrate on that for a second. Like, for example, if it were Burkana, then that's New Beginnings. So, depending on where it is in the reading, that's going to make a difference as to what Burkana is trying to tell you. Um, most of the time, the information that I'm supposed to relay comes as an emotion or a visual sensation that, that, that I need to then explain to whomever I'm doing the reading for. So if Burkana comes up in your present, then I would probably get some sort of visual image that uh, you are getting ready to start a project. I would actually see the person in my mind's eye uh, attempting to start a new project or taking the first steps of a new journey or something, something along those lines. Um, if that's not the case, the other way that I personally uh, wind up understanding the information and making it relayable is through an emotion and that emotion comes to me as you have worked hard to prepare to do this and you know that that sense of accomplishment should be there and the anticipation of your first step should be there if Burkhan is you know specifically what we're talking about so that's an example um, some of the other ways that I've uh, come to understand the way to transfer that information is to apply it to my own life, not situations in my own life, but uh, um, if, if I've had something happen to me that has brought this rune up before uh, in my life, then I will uh, associate you know, that immediately has a personal association with some sort of uh, emotion that I've experienced in the past, and then I can decide whether or not that applies to the scenario as a whole, and if it does, then I can move on from there, and if it doesn't, then I can take that idea and set it aside as not feasible for what is going on in front of me. Now, when I'm trying to, when I'm trying to get the words out, and explain the runes and what they are trying to say, um, that information is strictly at the moment. I never know what I'm going to say, obviously, because it's a, it's a divination reading, and um, in my personal opinion, I feel that the understanding and the energy of the runes themselves is what 
puts the message in front of me, my job is not to make the message happen. My, my, my job is to relay the information from the runes to the person sitting across from me. Um, I know this, this is a really short video, and uh, if, you have any co if, if you have any questions, excuse me, questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. I'll do my very best to keep up with those over the next few days. Um, outside of that, I hope you guys are looking forward to next week's readings. Next week should be the, yes, next week will be the uh, rune readings. If you've been contacted already, your rune reading will be this month. But uh, until then, I personally look for, am looking forward to the rest of the videos this week. And uh, thank you all for watching. And of course, until next time, Odin be with you.